Uh, let's see. Is it back on yet? Hello, hello. Can everybody see it? Is it on? All right, good. The lag look okay. Everything's good, never. All right. Uh, morning A, morning. Did you catch the anniversary reading last night? No. Well, I tried, but I fell asleep. Listen about that. Alright. You fell asleep? Oh, come on, Alice! And Wonderland is, like, our favorite! Let me finish. Something happened. I was turning on my radio. I'm going to refresh my Twitch page real quick. Okay. Uh, let me finish. Something happened. I was turning on my radio. You're such a, lud a Luddite. Amazing, I can even catch you online. Shut up! I'm not a Luddite. I just like analog things. Anyway, I was turning, tuning into the broadcast, and I must have hit the AM switch or something, because suddenly the channel changed to something else. What? Aliens! Oh! Government run number stations all right how's it coming up you look good no lag no it was this weird like white noise at first it's hard to explain why I was so drawn to it I could hear snippets of some melody maybe lyrics but the signal was weak so you turned it off and continued looking for the Alice broadcast no, uh, uh, oops. Uh, so I went out on my balcony and tuned, turned the antenna around until the signal came through clear. It now sounded like more like music, with the odd signal still in the background. When logic and proportion have fallen sloppy dead, and the white knight is talking backwards, and the red queen's off with her head. Oh, so somebody's pirate radio broadcast of Golden Oldies. It felt like something else there. Some message in the that the music was hiding. I know it sounds weird, but... And then I fell asleep. What a story. Yeah, it took me a while in my original playthrough of this to figure out that it was Alice in Wonderland themed. Yeah, that's not too hard to figure out with that there. No, hear me out. I dreamed, and I didn't know I was dreaming. Do you understand? It was entirely lucid, but like, like waking up in another world, except I don't think, I didn't think of it as another world. Uh, never. Just a second. Okay. Oh, does this make any sense? You had a super lifelike dream where you didn't know what you were dreaming, but you were still lucidly in control. Sounds pretty rad to me. 
I'm sure it would have been, except for the whole end of the world apocalypse bit in the dream. Okay, now you've got my attention. I'm sorry, I keep looking over. Um, I've got my chat open on my tablet. Now if I could just get it to play here. There we go. Now I can see it. Alright. So, like I said, it was the end of the world. Everything I did that day felt like the real thing. Every smell, every sound, every color, every touch. It's important you know that I wasn't acting like I would in a dream. I didn't know it was a dream. Heavy. There was no warning, no build-up, nothing. Just between one moment and the next, the TV had turned to an emergency alert system, and this voice that sounded like it had been recording in the 60s told us we were under attack. Okay, so I'm I'm letting everybody in chat go and kind of, uh, what goes on, what the story happens, depends on what y'all say. God, there's so much lag. Okay. Were you alone? No. I was with Chess. We were on a date. We were kind of ignoring the movie, although... Shit, I think it was the new Star Wars. Okay, this wasn't in there the last time that I played. This was not in here the last time that I played it on YouTube. Wait, who is Chess? My... Boyfriend. I mean, I don't have a boyfriend, but in the dream I did. He a hunk? Da da da. I'll take that as a yes. What happened then? Like I said, the TV suddenly turned to the emergency alert system. Jack the volume all the way up too. I don't even I didn't even know they could do that. The broadcast told us we were under attack right now and that we needed to take shelter. That we had less than thirty minutes before the bombs hit. Whoa. Uh -oh. Right we're raggy. Hold on just a second. Okay. So then. Jesus, sounds scary. At first, I didn't know what to believe. I switched the channel, but they were all the same. And then the sirens started. Tornado sirens, flood sirens, I don't know. And I knew things were serious. It was a raid, an air, uh, 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 I can't think. It was a raid siren. So, what'd you do? Well, I just went offline, really? Wait, it shows that I'm still online.
Alright, I'm still online, okay. Well, Chess was right there and he... Wait up, tell me more about this sudden new boyfriend of yours. I thought you weren't in the dating scene. Okay, never. Actually, I've been putting myself out there, like, maybe some online dating or something? Although I'm afraid to check, I'm kind of afraid to check okay, Cupid right now. Isn't that a real thing, though? Okay, Cupid or something? Okay, so, what if there's a guy there named Chess? Good icebreaker! Hi, I'm Alice! I dreamed about you last night! You were my end-of-the-world buddy! Funny. Hey, that rhymed. End-of-the-world buddy? Funny. Okay, I was checking my sound to see how it sounded. Alright. Aren't I just... You were saying about chess. Okay. It's... It shouldn't be... It's not lagging for me. And it's funny. The amount of delay from my computer in real life to my tablet. And I have it right next to me. So it's kind of funny. Chess, what kind of a name is that anyway? I wasn't really, I mean, yeah, he was pretty hot, I guess, and smart, and into me. What more could you ask for? I can sense you blushing all the way over here. Okay, it was your connection? Alright. Maybe I should check my OkCupid okay profile, actually. So, what did your boyfriend think? That's the thing, the moment they made the announcement, his he got this face, like, panic. He tried calling a number, but the network was clogged, and then he jumped on my laptop for a moment to type up an email before basically just rushing toward the door. This is very, very, very different than what the last time I played this. He said he had somewhere he needed to be. What? Without you? Well, I told him to wait and explain. He looked like he wanted to jump out of his skin, but he told me he had to go look for his sister. That makes sense, I guess. What'd you do? I asked him where she lives. And? In the burrows. Outside town. That's pretty far, isn't it? It is, which is why he was in a, such a hurry. I, I wanted to ask if he needed help, but somehow it felt like I didn't. I mean, it felt like I would be imposing? You're weird, Al. <laughs> You're weird, Al. So, you just let him go? Yeah, well, just before he left, I made him tell me the address. Is it okay if I come check on at on you after? I asked. I don't know. I wasn't thinking. And then you kicked and hug, and that was that. Pretty much. After he left, I... I don't know. Had I made a mistake? Well, I knew Chess wasn't going away from me, and if I wanted to go with him, I had to go right away. Just grab my stuff and go. Making quick decisions on the spur of the moment? Doesn't sound like you. So what'd you do? And this is where the first decision of chat is going to be. Damn it, Rowdy! Sorry guys, Rowdy just chewed something up that did not need to be chewed up. I'm a little bit irritated at him for it. Actually, I'm a lot irritated because this is my hot pack that I've been using.
Damn it, boy. No. Bad boy. No. You don't need to be chewing this thing up. So let me show you what the fuss is. Let me finish getting these little feeds off my bed because he doesn't need to have these anywhere near him where he could put them in his mouth. Maybe Paul. I need to get you a chew toy. So, I don't know if y'all, yeah, you should, you can see that. These are the beads that go into my hot cold pack that I use for my migraines. Here is the hot cold pack with a hole right here and a hole right there. He did this one la this morning, and then he just did this one. So I am very, very, very mad at my dog right now, because that hot pack was the only thing that helped with my migraines for right now. And I'm afraid because I'm hope that he didn't eat these because I don't know if they'd be toxic to him. So. Yeah, I'm a wee bit irritated right now. Damn it. So, oh, looks like I'm going to have to get me a new hot pack again. Awesome. Thanks, boy. More money. More money that I don't have right now. So, yeah, look. It's dropping beads out. There's one. See? Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, they're just like that. See? Boop. Bloop. Bloop. Bloop, bloop. Yeah, they're just coming out now. Thanks. Sorry, I'm a little bit pissed. Didn't need dealing with this tonight. That's irritating. And they just keep on falling out. So yes, I am very pissed off right now because I used this hot pack, well hot cold pack to help me with my headaches. And I know y'all see me clicking randomly, but it's actually me clicking um, on Discord.
I'm sorry guys, this stream has turned into something of me ranting because I'm pissed off at my dog because he just tore up something that really I kind of needed right now. So, this was no fun for me. Him thinking that it was a chew toy when no it was not. So, you know what I'm going to do? Alright, so I'm... I'm gonna get something set up for him. Okay, welcome back, Never. Um, you missed the fact of that Rowdy has chewed up this. There we go. My, um... The heat pack that I was using for when I was having my migraine. Uh, yeah, he chewed that up. So, I am doing something right now. Donation goal. There's that. Okay, hold on. I am trying to get some stuff set up.
Sorry guys, I'm trying to get it set up. See how this looks. Okay, no, so I am going to Sorry guys, I'm trying to get this set up so that it looks okay. I think I'm just gonna go back to the blue. Save. There we go. Alright, so if anybody wants to donate to a chew toy for Rowdy, please do. Alright, so Never, what do you think? Actually, because it doesn't look that good there, I'm going to switch it back to a brighter color. Save. Alright, so then, um, what, uh, what do you think I should do? Should I go online to find out what was going on? Should I think about my options? Or do I go with chess? And keep in mind that when I, that with chess, I, um, I did play that route. How about the teal color that I have now? How does that look? So, should I go with that or that? Alright. I might switch it to a yellow or a green later. Let's see, do I go with go online or do I think about my options? Top letters blend in with the white. Well, okay. Let me change that then. Let's try green. See how that looks. So you're saying one, so I'm guessing that means, right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over. Let me try something. Hmm. 
Okay. So you're saying one, so I'm guessing that means to go online to find out what's going on. So let's try that. Ah, okay. Didn't you try calling someone? Like, your parents? Of course I tried, but it was futile. The phone network was completely overworked. But the net still worked fine. Okay. So then I have now Rowdy Chew Toy. Let me move it. There we go. Okay, so what'd you find? The network was the net was still working, but the bandwidth was severely lacking. The major news networks were either down or overloaded and all the big search engines defaulted to some kind of government site in super simple HTML. That kind of confirmed it really was the real deal. Isn't the net supposed to be some kind of DARPA invitation anyway? Wouldn't be surprised if they had some kind of system in place to take over if need be. Well, they hadn't taken over. You could still go wherever you wanted. Facebook still worked. Apocalypse proof servers? Nice. It was insane. I tried to get in touch with my brother. He's the only one who's even got an account. But there was no reply. I spammed my aunts and sent an email to my mother, and I didn't. but I didn't know. It felt like I needed to find someone right then and there. And a group chat. It was spreading through our social network like wildfire. Someone found the closest, out, closest old fallout shelter that was actually still operable down on 3rd. People were going there, just grabbing all they could and running before the bombs would fall. So what happened next? You know, I did find you online. That must have been useless. I'm all the way over in Old Blighty. Unless things were different in your dream. No, you were still in the UK. The bombs had already started falling. There, we... You... Da da da. Da, da, da. You disappeared. There's nothing more to do. It was only a dream, Al. Sure, so then what? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna adjust. Let me do something real quick, cause I am not, I don't have it where I needed it to be. Paste, okay. There we go. That's better. Alright, so what should I do, chat? Should I think about my options? Go to the Fallout Shelter? Or try to get with Chess, which would be too late?
Well, I'm not getting many people in chat, so Let's see. Let us go to the fallout shelter because I'm not having a lot of people in chat. The old sh fallout shelter was down on third. It wasn't far, close enough to walk anyway. Did you think to bring anything? Oh right, yes, I grabbed the biggest bag I had. An honest to god hiking bag. I never owned a hiking bag in my life, but in the dream I did. You're gonna want the flashlight, you're gonna want spare clothes, you're gonna want food, you're going to want to take a first aid kit, okay. Well, go on. What was it like? Did you run into trouble? You could say that. God, that shelter. So, I headed towards the shelter for my apartment. I'll admit, it was kind. I was kind of hoping it was the same. Just saw some kind of false alarm, and by tomorrow everything would be back to normal. Like an extreme version of Orson Welles' War of the Worlds broadcast. It was fun. It's fine, never. Actually, the panic that radio show caused was greatly exaggerated, probably by Wells himself, and it worked. We still remember it today. Great ad campaign. Guess that English Lit degree is coming to some use, at least. Yeah, well, it didn't really feel like it. I remember trying to think of words to describe the way the streets felt, the way the city sounded. Turmoil, chaos, anarchy... Tumult. Pandemonium. The capital of hell. Yes. Now, who's got a degree in lit? Stop stalling. Yeah, it's just so fucking damn. Like I said, everything felt so real. The panic in the streets, the accidents everywhere with no emergency responders showing up, the ever-present siren... It was like everyone walked with their eyes to the sky, just expecting to see a flash. Did you make it to the shelter okay? The shelter was actually in the basement of a bar. They used it as storage, which was handy since there was a door towards the street. But there were no signs or anything like that anymore. I just knew about it from the Facebook conversation. Okay, wait. Isn't that the bar you always go to? The red bar? He yeah. Go on, Alice. Did you get in? I went to what I thought was the side door. It wasn't some kind of alleyway I'd usually hang out in. I could just imagine junkies and hobos sleeping among the those trash bags. Anyways. The suspense is killing me. Oh, yeah. Since it is a onesie... There we go. My ears are up now. I have there. There we go. My ears are up. Okay. So I knocked on the door and then immediately tried the handle. It was locked. Nothing happened for a while. Then the door opened just a bit and she stuck her head out. She the bitch queen. She was the redhead chick who had taken charge of everything in there. She was the one who had originally posted about the place, so I guess she felt she owned it somehow. She stood there in the doorway, 
looking me over and then basically said, we're full, like it was an exclusive club. I can't believe they just keep you out for no good reason. Was it actually full? Ha! Huh, not a chance. There was a sign in the door that said, capacity 100, there was no way there was 100 people in there already. I said as much, she didn't reply. Guess you didn't just let it be at that then. What should I do? Should I try talking my way in, pushing the door open, saying that I wasn't the only one wanting to get in, or give up? Definitely don't want to get up. Give up. I kind of want to try to go down the path of taking over. Hmm. What do you think, Never? Or anybody else who's watching? Number three? Saying that I wasn't the only one getting in? I kind of want to push my way in. To see if I can take her take her out. Ew, I said that I was going to let y'all choose the story, so... Alright. Um, but it wasn't, but it was just you, yes, but like, in theory, there'd be others than just me. Did she buy it? She looked behind me and back at me and then repeated, I'm sorry, but we're full. So what'd you do? I'm gonna push the door open. I wasn't having any of the shit. Clearly, the door clearly said capacity 100 people. There was no way there was 100 people in there. So, what did you do? That's what I did. I did, too. I pushed with all my might, but she wouldn't budge. She was stronger than she looked. We were at an impasse. At least she didn't... But at least she didn't just close the door. What'd you do? I tried talking my way in. You can't just leave me out here, and so forth. She just repeated that there were full. There, there wasn't any... Enough food for any more. That I should try some other place to hide. Stone cold bitch indeed. I tried telling her I wouldn't be a burden. I had brought food. I opened my bag and showed her. You were nicer than I thought you'd be. What did she say? I wasn't being nice. I was being desperate. I was trying to figure out the rules of sudden new reality. She hesitated. Then she said, all right, but you will have to share. Bribe, huh? How tempting. What was your answer? I'm gonna take her up because I want to get inside and take her over. So she let me slip in, closing the door behind me with a bang. Okay. I barely had time to get um, my bearings before she started taking command again, telling me to hurry up and empty my bags. Fuck you, bitch. Empty your bag. She said some kind of notion that she would be in charge of supplies. Bullshit. And what'd you say to that? Whew. Who just followed? Hi! Hello, Frank K. How are you doing? How are you doing today? Alright, so, 
Should I talk to her about it politely? Ask her who the hell put her in charge? Or follow her other orders? Why do I have only seven followers? Well, I am not sure. I wish that I knew why. But also because I'm very small and I only just recently started streaming. So what do you think I should do? I'm letting y'all guys decide. Talk to her politely. Ask her who the hell put her in charge, which I personally would do. Or just follow her orders, which I would never do. Number two. Alright. Holy shit, Alice. I didn't know you had it in you. I don't know. I was tired. Stressed out of my mind. Panicking. The bit and the bitch tried to keep us outside, and now she wanted my stuff? I didn't have time for her shit. Not that I'm in support of this course of action. I am, but you had sort of made a deal with her. The deal was off. You go, girl. How'd she react? Stunned that someone would actually stand up to her? What did she have to say for herself? She said she was proprietor of the Red Bar, and therefore the legal owner of the Fallout Shelter, and that... <laughs> Excuse me. And that it was only out of the kindness of her heart that she allowed us inside. Allowed you, huh? Tell me about it. I reminded her nuclear war was about to go down out there, and that whatever bullshit... Bullshit ownership ideas she had were quickly going out of date. There would be other forms of currency soon enough. Jeez, Alice. This was, what, half an hour after the announcement? You got real fast. I guess. I mean, this was kind of what I had been preparing for. Aw, cook thuggers! I see the poopers in chat! It's okay. Alright. I just... I was just mentally in that space, I guess. Hold on. There you go. I guess... I mean... This was kind of what I had been preparing for. I just was mentally in that space, I guess. Anyway, a lot of people stepped, stopped, and took note, and she, well, she went quiet. Um, Frank, uh, when you do an XD face, that's basically like you're laughing really hard. Did she leave you alone afterwards? The place had maybe 20 people in it, us included, but she stayed away from most of the rest of us, so yes, she did. Were you the last to arrive? No, soon after us, there was others. These she let out without trouble, embracing one of them, this big burly guy with a motorcycle jacket. Someone you knew? Actually, yes, Ray was his name. He lived pretty close. I mainly knew him for his love of motorcycles. I had no idea how he knew the bitch queen. Yep, exactly like that. But the place was still empty? Yeah. Soon after, there was another knock. And this time the bitch queen tried to do the same thing she did with me. What did you do? Alright, do I step in, protest, or keep quiet? What do you guys think?
Number one, yeah, that's probably what I did too. Damn right. When I raised my voice at her, she turned red. What was your approach? With full force of numbers, me and my group showed up and tried to get her off. It's okay, Frank. And? So, Frank, what drew you to my, um... My, uh, my stream? And? And she called her friend Ray over, and suddenly we were at a standstill. So what happened? I think a few got in during the ahem discussion, but then she and her ma Ray managed to close the door again. And that was that. So I guess in the end you won? Mm, well, the alternative was that she would have won. What happened next? The end of the world happened next. The bombs. We were all underground, down a set of stairs leading to the actual bunker. It was filled with barrels and barrels of air, and other drinks. But at least there was light, for a while. So it actually happened. The nuclear war? Yes. We had a radio with us, and we all sat clustered around it. At first, there are sporadic reports that the U.S. missile uh, defense system was working. Okay, that's weird. The music. Okay. Um, and it was shooting down the incoming warheads. But then the signal turned off. And a few moments later, we felt the rumble. Holy shit! But you were okay! The shelter did what it was designed to do, yes. Although, at one point, there was a terrible sound just above, and the shelter was briefly filled with dust. I was pretty sure we were all dead. People were screaming, babies were crying. The lights flickered and it died. It was the end. Holy shit! Your subconscious wasn't joking around! Leaving in 10 seconds, aww. Bye. We subsided on candles and flashlights and waited for the radio to come back. It did, after a while. Thank you for coming to the stream. Uh, this is what you call bread. What did it say? Just about expected fallout patterns. It sounded very recorded, but I guess there had been had to be someone alive up there still checking the buttons. But even that ended after a little while. Wow, okay. So how long did you stay down there? Well, the radio said there was a cloud of radioactive ash coming our way within 24 hours and told everyone to stay inside until further notice. Then it died. So I guess you stayed at least 24 hours then? Of course. The problem came when we tried to leave. What? Well, the shelter was underground, underneath the big trap door. The house above? It had apparently collapsed on the trap door. We tried to open it, pushed and pushed, but it wouldn't budge. Damn, that's like a real nightmare. Buried alive. Well, we had food down here for a while. And if we started drinking beer with our meals, we could probably stretch it out for weeks. But then, of course, we'd all be kind of drunk all the time, too. But what then? Maybe there'd be rescue? Maybe. But what if there wasn't? What did the others think? Ray and his queen wanted to sit tight and wait for help. A few of the others wanted to find an alternative way out. Maybe through uh, the one of the ventilation shafts. The third option would be to keep working on the trap door. It opened, but if we removed the hinges and got it to collapse inward, 
and then dug up through the debris. The radioactive debris. Yes, but the radio, radio had mentioned the fallout would be falling, the fallout falling down within 24 hours. Staying put even for just a few days longer, and then trying one of the other options might be optimal. Anyway, people were getting very antsy, so it was time to make some kind of decision. So what did you do? What do y'all think? One, two, three, or four? I really do not want to do four, but, you know. Zena, how are you doing tonight? Frankie, what do y'all think? What do y'all think I should do, huh? Should I stay put and wait for the rec rescue? Boat on working at the trap door. Opening it up seemed like the alternative, uh, seemed like the wisest, or what did it matter? And what do you mean by six? Never, what do you mean by six? Four? Come on, I really don't want to wait. I don't want to... Mm. Ooh. Everybody else, what do y'all think? I want a unanimous vote. Or a majority vote. Three, all right. So, well, I mean, okay, if you stayed in for a little while to let the fallout happen so you're not in it, I might do that and then that. So let's see what happens. Seems like waiting to die to me. Well, the radio did say there would be fallout. You're fine. You're fine, Frankie. Uh, the radio did say that there would be fault within 24 hours. Anyway, it wouldn't be forever. <clears throat> Alright, you two. Stop spamming, please. Well, no, unless you're planning on dying down there, maybe making living like moles. We couldn't make do forever, of course. Eventually, we had eaten all there was to eat. I had no idea what the fallout situation was outside. Hopefully, better. But then, there was no help, of course. Nothing at all. The radio didn't come back on, either. We were running out of batteries and candles. Soon, we were just sitting in the dark drinking beer. Jesus. I guess the bitch queen must have agreed something needed to be done. Actually, no. She was, I think, something broke in her. When there was no help, she couldn't act anymore. Ray was no help, either. He... And his posse simply sat down and started bring, drinking beer together with her. It's fine, never. Uh, their laughter echoed in the shelter, but it sounded forced. Scary. What did you do? Now we can go. I wanted to see what would happen if I waited a few days. So let's see. Uh, let's try the ventilation shaft, shall we? Since that was the original option that y'all wanted me to do. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't you get your air from the ventilation shaft? Well, yes, so it was kind of risky to go messing with it. And we all knew that, but the trap door didn't feel like a good idea. 
neither was just staying put, so it was worth a shot. So, did you find out? Well, I stood on the shoulder of some others and managed to dislodge the gate on one of the shafts in the roof. I shone a flashlight in and saw that there was barely... It was just barely big enough for one thin-shouldered person. Sounds like someone I know. Well, with a bit of help, they pushed me into the shaft. It was tight, very tight, but I could just barely wiggle my way upwards. This was roughly the point I remembered. I have a serious feel of fear of enclosed spaces. Well, I understand. What if you got stuck? No one would be able to help you, especially if it was further up. Who knows if it even led to the surface, or if it was blocked up there. Risky. Yeah, I know. I... Um, definitely had some reservations. So what'd you do? Alright, now what? One or two? This is why I can't wait to get my new setup of two monitors so that I can see what's going on. Two or three monitors, because I might have a third monitor that shows my chat. And the secondary monitor might be for um, seeing my recording software. Number two. Okay. Brave. Uh, it was that or remain stuck underground. Either way, I was going to die in the dark. Still, I think most people would have preferred to delegate that. Or then hope for the best somewhere else. Hey, don't ask me. I did what I did in the dream because that's who I was in the dream. I don't think it was me exactly. It was more a future potential me, you know? Sure, I guess. Anyway, crawl space. How did... You, how did... You do. It was tight. It got uh, tighter real fast. I felt like hyperventilating, but somehow I got my breathing under control. A flat, the flashlight helped a lot. I guess you didn't have a piece of mushroom that would make it smaller, did you? Ha! Very appropriate. No, no, I didn't. Anyway, somehow I managed to continue pushing myself up the sides of the tunnel. It wasn't actually that bad, really, as long as I kept going slow. You couldn't have been that far underground, though. It must have been just a few dozen feet, right? Sure, but there were filters, and it was thin. And it went straight up, and yeah, it was not fun. The worst part is I didn't even have the proper tools with me. Just whatever we had used to pry the first cover, a claw hammer, I think. What was your best strategy? Hmm. What do y'all think? Slow and steady, get through it as fast as possible, or just bash my way through anything that comes my way. Okay. Well, I personally would go slow and study, but... Alright. Okay, so how did it go? It didn't. I panicked. And when I panicked, I trashed and got tired and tried struggling through. And I got even more tired and I managed to squeeze through the next block. But by then I was so helplessly wedged I couldn't even do anything about it. Jesus Christ, I was... So you were stuck. 
It was a complete nightmare. I cried out for help. I cried and cried. Now, I'm sure they heard me that they couldn't do anything. I tried to go in forward, but I couldn't. I tried going back, but I couldn't. So, what then? Well, I guess I should feel lucky I wasn't completely alone. They actually did try to get me out by enlarging the tunnel. That's what they said, at least. But before I got to enjoy a few days in complete darkness, I was so thirsty. Ah, but did they try to get you out? Yes, and no, they broke something when they were digging, and suddenly the whole thing fell down with me still in it. I broke a few ribs, a few other bones, and then I think I suffocated to death. It was a relief, to be honest, after those days of torment. And? So you guys got me killed! Thanks, Never! And thus concluded my dream. Well, that was interesting. What do you think? I think it felt incomplete, like there was something missing. That wasn't the way it was supposed to end, you know? Dreams are supposed to end in certain ways? This one, I think. It felt like I was trying to tell me something, but I wasn't listening closely enough. Maybe you can try again the next night. See if you hear the same recording. Speaking of, what frequency was it on? That's, um, the weird part. When I tried to see, I realized that I'd hit the cha right channel, and that it was, in fact, reading Alice in Wonderland. And this wasn't... Uh, and it... Blah, 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 blah. This isn't exactly some obscure number station frequency on the AM bands. Well, maybe you'll dream it next night again. Anyway, that's the good thing with dreams. You can always dream them again. And maybe do something different the second time around? Alright. Better prepared. First death. <sighs> well. So you guys apparently got me killed. Thank you! Alright, well, I am going to end this stream here. And, uh, let me check something. So I have been streaming for an hour and nine minutes. That's more than I did last night. And hopefully as time goes on, I'm going to do more and more. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, why is this... Not working. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. I won't end it. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, my God. You just... Oh my god, thank you! Oh my god! Who?
You just paid for Rowdy a new chew toy. Xenon, you thank you for the 20 bucks. You just went and paid for Rowdy a new chew toy so that he doesn't do this again after I get another one of these, which was what was helping with my headaches. My hot cold pack. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, now I can, um... Oh, yeah. Uh, Frankie, um... I need to change... Zeno, yes, you did just pay for um, Rowdy uh, chew toy so that he hopefully does not chew up another one of my hot cold packs. But all right, I guess that I'll do some geometry dash since y'all so desperately want me to do it. Let me get it booted up. I really hope he does not, because I'm getting just a wee bit tired of it. Like, I'm getting a little bit tired of him. Hey, I'm getting a little bit tired of him doing that. Well, since the Rowdy Chew Toy has now been paid for... I'm going to remove that. And then I'm also going to start up... Because... Zeno, thank you. Um, Alright. I'm going to start a new donation goal. Because that one was just finished. You did 49 demons in two months. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and set the uh, donation goal to be a thousand because I know that I should be able to save up some of for my computer. So I'm only gonna ask for a thousand. That's it. There we go. Oh, 
Okay. I will start you up later, Frankie. But thank you so much, Zeno. But anyways, let's get to it. Thank you, Never, for helping me out in chat. Want to play Gmod? Well, um, unfortunately, Gmod does not do too well when I stream or record, so y'all wouldn't be able to see a lot of stuff. And let me do something real quick. Game capture. There we go. Now y'all can see the whole thing. Let me... Browser source. Transition. Here we go. There we go. That's better. Alright. Let's do this, shall we? Oh wow, it is messing up badly. And it was not doing this last night. Crap. I don't know if y'all see it going and messing up like that. Uh, Geometry Dash is being a doofus. Damn it. Alright, so it looks like Geometry Dash is not gonna work. Sorry about that, Frank. It isn't gonna work for me. So let's go to Steam. Alright, I have a game that I've been wanting to play called To Burn in Memory. It's a free to play game. How does that one sound?
Alright, so I need to figure out how to get this game to work. If you will give me just a second. Play game. There we go. Alright. Now y'all can see it. Okay. Landing Overlook, in Overlook Institute below tower. The wind whistled through the arcades, a low, mournful hum. At the opposite side of the tower, I could fully behold the western vista. A river stretching out over the horizon, the opposing shore veiled and blurred in fog. Come on. Sorry, I'm starting to thirsty. Alright. Radiating outward from the tower where the roaring falls, glittering in the half light, they split the circular plot. Piazza into two tiers. The lower tier, accessible from here by twin descending staircases that curved inward to embrace a small landing. Through blackened windows teased entrance, the tower itself allowed no means of ingress at this level. So, do we let's see? Let's go west. Landing. Mm. The stairway flattened out and continued splitting the flow in two to descend towards the outer arcades and the Red River. The entrance to the White Tower was here, and dark in the shadow of the waning sun, a black monolith of a door, seamless, with no visible means of admission. Let's examine the door. Alright, I'm guessing that y'all are probably not going to enjoy this game, so let me do something. I'm going to go to library. <laughs> Don't want to try Gary's mod. Let me check this.
There you are. Okay, where is my... We're gonna get a prop hunt. Okay, come on. Minimize that. Discord. Frank. I just now saw that you joined the uh, Discord. Sorry about my face getting up close. Alright. Back to main menu. Start a new game. me game Gary's mod So then you'll just have to deal with a little bit uh, around the edges. You know, just a little bit around the edges. I'm sorry. So then if anybody wants to play uh, Prop Hunt with me, go to Gergis Mod and search for the server. Um, Mama's uh, Cubs.
Okay. There you guys go. Mama's Cubs is the server name. I have Hunter Friendly Fire Penalty is one, and then Custom Taunts Delay is one. And we are only going to have five rounds this game. But if anybody wants to play, go ahead and get on Gary's mod. Get in Mama's Cubs. And we shall play. And it is loading. All right. Alright, let us go here, start my music. Okay, here we go. I'm waiting on some people to get in game. Probably ought to put um, non copyrighted music on.
Okay, never I just sent you a request. You never play Gmod? Alright. Do you have Gmod, Frank? If you could, if you want to play with us, you can, uh, get on and, uh, look for the server Mama's Cubs. If my music starts to bother y'all, uh, let me know. Okay, so we got Hunters 1, Props. Okay, so we got somebody in prop and hunters, so let's go to props. Oh no, it's me and Zeno versus. Oh, hold on. Let's pause this. Wonder, is there a game chat? Never, I sent you a uh, invite. How can I search servers? Um, I'm not sure how to invite people who are not friends. Hi, Zeno.
the heck? Zeno! Aww. So see you guys against me? Dang. Uh, I went into the Okay, hold on. I'm trying to think of how to um Wait, what happened? Oh, hey. Okay. Yay! How are you done? Aw, oh, see you, Frank. Thanks for watching the stream. If you can, um, block out, like, my actual stream. Yeah. And maybe turn down your volume. I am using OBS, and I am using I what? Well, now I am, but... No. Zeno, you, uh, buddy, I really hope that you're not in my stream, because <laughs> you will quickly... He did it again. He he walked right by me again. <laughs> Please tell me that you can hear like whenever I do that. Oops. Please come again. Woo! Ha ha ha! He will never find me. Ha ha ha! 
Please tell me that you're seeing what. Hey, Zeno. Yeah, how do I do that? I don't know. Dang! Yeah. Wait, no, don't do, uh, do not do that one. Do, um, Halloween House. Horror Hotel does not work for me. Hello. What'd you do that? X. Did you leave the server? Yeah, it kicked me out. Hold on. We have started the trend of cry hacks. Can you send me another invite for me? Yeah. There you go. Did you get it that time? Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Cry, join the um Discord chat. Do it. Can you cry? Can you hear me? Because it's like not letting up. He can't. He he can't hear you because of uh, he's not in our uh, dis. Oh, there he goes. Are you where the watermelons are? No. Wait, jump up and down. Jump up and down. What? I'm the only hunter. I'm hearing somebody, I'm hearing, I'm hearing my, I'm hearing my stream in the background. Like, uh, 
F3. F3. Oh, please! You know we, you know near him. Damn it. Is he still in the house? He... Can I give her a hint? Yeah. He is outside. I just got lost. I'm out back. Screw you, zombie. What is he? In ten seconds, I'll tell you where I am. He's a doll. <laughs> really? In the bedroom where the dolls are. Oh, come on. I don't know where that is. He's upstairs. He just went down the stairs. He ran up the stairs again. He's right behind you. <laughs> You'll never find me. Oh, well, I will. Okay, this is what we do. Um, Desi, go to the... Okay. That's where you search for the underground tunnel. I'll wait, go wait, next. Wait, why do I have to go and check? What if I want to go check? Mm. Oh, it's YouTube trying to find me. Oh, God. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Hi, Epic. How are you doing? Nice stream. Thank you. Yeah, you're going to be watching me right here for about three, four minutes in the same spot taunting them. But thank you, Epic. I know it's not. Yeah. And yes, I know that it's not Geometry Dash. Let me actually fix that real quick. Because I am that confident in my game. What? Someone needs some milk. What? I mean, <laughs> what? Any I have a surprise for you, Zoe. Mama, I think you want the present. <laughs> Hi, Master Play. How are you doing? Gamer, I know I'm hilarious. Ha 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 ha. They will never find me. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, you won't. No, you won't. You'll torture me. All right, see you, Epic. Yes, you will. 
Yeah, you will! You will too! Yeah, you would! <laughs> I'm taunting! Where? We don't hear you. <laughs> That's creepy. Alright, I'll tell you. Do you know the Muffin Man? <laughs> they will never find me. Aw. So how's everybody enjoying my stream so far? Ha 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 ha! What? I have a surprise for you. Come on, just show just, No! Just come out in the open. I'm out in the open, that's the problem. Like, I'm literally out in the open. Yep, I am. Where? You'll never find me. Ha ha ha. Sleep right next door. Oh, I'm sorry, I so didn't you... realize that I was being that loud. Yeah, so you need to please set it down. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, I, I, I didn't realize that I was being loud. And no, I'm not giving up what I originally was because that'll ruin it for me next round. <laughs> So, Master, how are you enjoying the stream? Oh, what was that for? <laughs> Pretty unnecessary. Why are you going to shed? No, no, no. Don't shoot me. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Ah. I know it's not you! I'm like, I'm, I'm at 46 health! I'm at 46 health, you butts! I know that you're out here somewhere. That is just weird. What? It, what? What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. You told me. Stop shooting me pumpkins. No, I want to shoot the pumpkins. All right, now I know one of y'all is out here somewhere. For me. <laughs> what did you do? Where did you go, Cry? Nowhere. Where are you, Cry? I know you're out here. I know you're here. No. Yeah. What the hell? Are you still that baby? No. No, Mama. Mama. <laughs> That's not fair, Cry. 
What is he? Did he do a cheatsy thing? No, it's what he's doing at the very moment. I just saw you. He's been following me for like the past 20 minutes. Damn, you scared me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cry, where did you go? Come on, cry. Where did where? Right here. Look at the window phone. Right here. What the hell? Where did you go, kitty? Where? Where is my little cub? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, where did you go? What the hell? What in the hell? <laughs> wow. Um, research base doesn't work for me. Um, Christmas, I'm not sure if it works or not. We'll see if it works, and if it doesn't, then I'll have to uh, switch it. Okay. Like, we'll have to start a new game. Okay. <sighs> Alright, you two. Pick up. Pick teams. Pick up. I don't know. It is. Damn it! Oh, we're doing this again. Okay, this is cool. Where am I? I was? Yeah, in the uh, upstairs. The can. I was looking at the window. You're not there anymore. You guys will never find me. Mama, I found you. No, you won't. Why did you move that big box, Mama? There's Mama, I see her. No, you don't. No, no, no. No, you don't. You don't see me. I see you. You became the hula girl. <laughs> that was just a guess because I see like the hula girls like fall fall down. <laughs> Mama, where are you? We want to give you a present. Sweet. I'm the where are you? The fuck? I found her. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. No, you're not. She's in the house. I her. How do you know? Are you watching my stream? No. Yeah, you are. No. Get inside the door. He's running away. She's inside that place. No, no, no. She's inside that door. You'll see her. She's glowing green. My dog is like, what the hell are you doing? What happened? What did you do? What mistakes were made? What happened? What happened? Tell mama. Tell mama. Tell. <laughs> How much health did you have? Cry. Where are you? Where are you? Oh God. Oh, he's in a gar spot. Where did you go? Uh, Alright, I know that you would have changed props by now. Did you really just go back outside? Seriously? 
No! What the? That just turned very dark. Hi, Cass. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. The stream of weirdness. Salt. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Okay. Ha ha! Y'all will never find me. No, you didn't. <laughs> you shall never find me. Oh, sure, thanks. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm cornered now. I can't move. Even if I wanted to, I can't move. After this round, I think I'm going to call the stream quits. Shut up! Fuck you! Fuck you! Ooh. And it would! Screw you! It was happy fun time for me. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> no, no, I already see the fan fictions going. No. No. Whoa, 
is freaking out. She's shooting everything. Just like when grandma was there. What? I didn't know that was her. I thought you were done with drugs. What? What? They can. People can hear you on stream. Yeah, that's why people like me more. Screw you. What is he doing? Really? Hacks! No. I'm just barricading myself in. Mama never knows. Right, well, I'm gonna end this stream here. It was nice playing with you, Mama. Yeah, sure. It was. Damn it. <laughs> Are you gonna keep playing? Okay, guess not. I think we're done. Alright, I'm gonna hop out of here so I can say my goodbyes to the uh, thing. But I will talk to y'all in a few minutes, alright? Alright guys, well, that was certainly, um, that was, uh, fun. Thank you, Xenon, for donating that $20 earlier in the stream. Um, thank you to anybody that followed, anybody that donated. Um, 